Hey guys, welcome to Friday. You made it to the end of the week. Congratulations. I am going to use some observations from your essential molecules lab to introduce some new topics. So let's get started. I randomly picked observations. If your observation is out here, congratulations, you made it to the show. If not, don't worry about it. I read through all of them. They all basically had this. They all looked amazing. You all got the hang of it. So nice job. So what I want to point out in these randomly picked observations is that they all talk about similar things. They all talk about the fact that these essential molecules had oxygens, hydrogens, and carbons. And I've circled where everybody said that. And that's a great observation because that brings up something called organic molecules. And what are organic molecules? Organic molecules are molecules that are found in living things. Every single thing that is living has an organic molecule inside of it. That includes us. Why is that important? Because if every single living thing has organic molecules, that means they're the building blocks for life. The way that we define organic is that it's relating to or derived from living things. So we call it organic molecules because they're in living things. That's how I remember what organic molecules are. In organic molecules, there are common elements. The three most common elements are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, right? Everything that we mentioned here, oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. What I'd like you to know about the carbons is a a molecule must have a carbon to be considered organic it must and secondly when you have carbons in an organic molecule they're either going to be in a ring or they're going to be in a long chain and i've added an example from your essential molecules lab so this is an exact screenshot of your essential molecules lab here are the rings of carbons right here, and here are the chains of carbons, which means all four of these are organic molecules.